In this lesson, we will learn how to place multiple points in a drawing. The point tool can be found in both the draw menu and the home ribbon if we click on the arrow of the panel draw to expand it. Naturally, we can type the word point in the command line and press enter to activate it. As usual, I will activate the point tool from the ribbon. I will click on the arrow of the draw panel to expand it and then I will click on the multiple points icon. Once the tool is active, I can start clicking anywhere in the drawing area to place a point. I will click once, then twice, but notice that nothing seems to happen. The points are barely even visible. I will press escape to deactivate the tool. Though there's no difficulty in using the tool, there are some settings we should be careful of before we start placing points. To change those settings, I'm going to open the Format menu and click on the Point Style option. The Window Point Style appears with some very important and useful options. First and foremost, I need to define a more distinctive point style. The default option is a dot so tiny that it's not easy to distinguish in the drawing area. In this example, I will choose the circle which has a cross in its center. Any other point style apart from the first two is a good choice if you want to see clearly the points you place. Next is the point size field. The point size plays a major role on how big the points will appear. However, notice that next to the value field, there's the percentage symbol. This happens because the option Set Size relative to screen right below is currently chosen. That means that the size of the points will be changing according to the zoom level of the screen. Simply put, when I zoom in or out, the point size will change, something that is not very convenient while working on a project. So it is highly recommended to choose Set Size in Absolute Units instead and then adjust the value in the Point Size field accordingly. Notice that once I set Size in Absolute Units, the percentage symbol next to the Point Size value field has been replaced by the word Units. Now I'm going to change the value from 5 to 50 units and then click OK to see what happens. As you can see, now the points are totally visible and easy to distinguish. Lastly, I have to mention that I can place a point at specific coordinates, which means that I can define the horizontal and vertical distance from the coordinate system's origin. For this example, I have to activate the multiple point tool again. This time I will not click anywhere though. I will move the cursor in the drawing area and notice that there is a message near the cursor which prompts me to specify a point. Next to it, there's an active field which represents the x-coordinate value and an inactive one which represents the y-coordinate value. Notice that while I move the cursor around in the drawing area, the coordinates are constantly changing. To define the coordinates of the point, I will type the number 1500 in the X coordinate field, and then I will press the comma from my keyboard to switch to the Y coordinate field. The X coordinate field has been locked, while the Y coordinate field is now active. I will type the number 2000 in this field, and then press Enter. The point is placed automatically, and its distance from the X axis is 1500 units while its distance from the y-axis is 2000 units. I will press escape to exit the command of placing points. I can confirm the coordinates if I select the point and right-click on it in order to open the properties palette. In the geometry group, I can see the x, y and z positions of the point. The x and y positions are indeed the ones I specified previously.